What up schmucks, it's Ace Trainer Liam and welcome back to another episode of Metromania. For those who don't know what Metromania is, it's an ongoing 16 Pokemon metronome only battle tournament to determine the Metromania champion. And this season is all about legendary Pokemon. If you're already a fan of Metromania, you've already watched all eight of the heats and you're ready for more, make sure you hit the like button to show that you're enjoying the series and of course hit subscribe if you're new so you never miss an episode. Of course, as I say, the heats are over. It's time for the quarterfinals and before we get into our first quarterfinal, let's take a look at those all important brackets. Here we go, the quarterfinals are upon us. Last week we secured the final place in the quarterfinal for Palkia who defeated Lugia. Lugia goes home back to its own world, the wonderful world of Johto, but Palkia representing Sinnoh jumps on into the quarterfinals. It will face Solgaleo in the final of our quarterfinals, but of course today is quarterfinal one. It seems like forever since we started this series, but we're finally here at the quarterfinals. We have Dialga versus Eveltol. Eveltol with a shock victory over Mewtwo, Dialga with a dominant victory over Deoxys in round one. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out with the win in this one. Will it be the dominant force or the plucky underdog. Let's take a look. Here we go. It's Dialga versus Eveltol. It's the dragon and steel Pokemon versus the flying and dark Pokemon. And I know someone in the comments is going to be triggered because I put the primary and secondary types the other way around, but I just don't care. Here we see the dark aura radiating from both the Eveltol here. And we see the pressure being exerted by both Dialga on this field. The pressure is going to be the problem for the Eveltol team because there's a lot of resistances on Dialga. So it's going to be a very pot look as to what moves these two Pokemon could get. Starting off with a Hydro Pump though, that is going to be resisted. It could still do a little bit of chip damage, but it's going to be resisted by the Dialga team. Unfortunately, for the Eveltals, that's a shame. It's a very big shame. Here's a Confusion, which again is going to be resisted. This is the problem that Eveltal is going to have all the way through this battle, is there's so many uh, resisted moves. There's so many resistances on the Dialga team. Dialga going for Sky Uppercut, which is neutral, doing a Decent amount of damage there on that first turn. Shiny Dialga onto Shiny Eveltol. Here's regular Dialga going for a Shadow Sneak that will be resisted. But the amount of resistances on Dialga means that there's not a lot of damage that Eveltol can dish out if it doesn't get lucky with the Metronome getting Fighting or Ground type moves. Which means that it's going to easily run out of PP. There's an Iron Tail. Again, it's resisted by Dialga. Eveltol not having any luck from the get-go with this, uh, with, with the Metronome. There's a Faint Attack. It is going to be a stab move and does a great amount of damage there. Decent amount of damage, bringing that Dialga down to less than half HP. Shiny Dialga is going to follow up with a mean look. And Eveltol really needs to rely on mistakes by the Dialga team. But it needs to take advantage of every PP that it has. Because the, if the PP runs out because of the pressure, it's game over for Eveltol. Here's a minimize. That Dialga is going to be very difficult to hit now. Its evasiveness has risen two stages. Will that play out in this battle and cause a problem for the Eveltol team? We will see. Regular Eveltol is going to go for a heavy slam. Again, it's going to be massively resisted by the Dialga team. This is not a good start. Plus, I mean, heavy slam Eveltol, that is not a new meta, my friend. This is not a dog-related video. We see a Horn Leech coming out, quad-resisted, doing the tiniest little bit of damage to that regular Dialga. It's not looking good for Eveltol, but they are sitting pretty with a decent amount of HP each, and it did absorb a bit of HP on that Horn Leech. Here we see Nature's Madness. That's going to half the HP of which of the Eveltol. It's going to half the HP of the shiny Eveltol, bringing it down to half the HP that it had at the start of the turn. Great play by Dialga as the shiny Dialga follows up with Swift, which is going to do uh, special damage to both Eveltol. So it's not looking good. In fact, both teams have pretty much the same setup right now. They have one in the yellow, one in the green. Hold back, again, massive resistance there. Oh my goodness, and such a pathetic move to use as well. It's just got no base power behind it. Regular Velto goes for Fusion Bolt. Again, electric type attack. It's gonna be resisted by Dialga. I cannot stress enough. Am I making it clear enough? Dialga has like, so many resistances. I, I mentioned this in my top five legendaries video. This Pokemon has so many resistances and Roar of Time getting its own signature move there. Oh my goodness. Massive damage to a Veltol there. Huge Dragon type move. The equivalent to a Dragon type Hyper Beam. That was incredible. And we see a Dragon Dance coming out from Shiny Veltol. Uh, Dialga, I should say. My 
goodness. This just got dangerous. Speed rose, attack rose. My goodness. I would not like to be in a Veltal right now in this Metronome battle. Of course, Shiny Dialga starts off the next turn with Foresight. That was a lucky mistake for the Veltal team. Very lucky for Veltal. What are they going to do in response? They need to take down this Dragon Dance Dialga or the one that needs to recharge this turn. We see Guard Split coming out. I'm going to swap the guard, Shiny of Eltol to Shiny Dialga. What would its partner do? Because guard split's not really going to save you at this point. Uh, regular, oh, regular Eveltal goes for a guard split on regular Dialga. What is happening? The Eveltal team just doesn't know what they're doing right now. And they've wasted that recharging turn where they could have put massive damage and maybe even taken out that regular Dialga. We see Toxic Thread coming out from Shiny Dialga onto Shiny Eveltal. So that's not only going to poison it, but it's also going to lower the speed of that Eveltal as well. There's the poison. Oh my god. Goodness, Eveltal. I don't honestly know how they're hanging on in this battle. I'd have called it a day and just said, hey, let's just let's just sort this out in uh, in the next round. Try and form a comeback. My goodness. Regular Eveltal jumping in with a jump kick, but it's avoided because of the evasion. Oh, no, and the crash damage knocks out that uh, shiny Eveltal. Oh, my. Uh, regular Eveltal, I should say, goes down from the jump kick crash damage. That is not good. Here's Charm lowering the attack stat. Uh, of Shiny of Eltol, who is really on the ropes at the moment against two Dialgas, one with an attack boost and a speed boost, and poisoned at the same time. My goodness, Dialga has just been absolutely destructive in this first round battle. Play nice coming out, lowering the attack even more of this Eveltal. So even if it wanted to mount some kind of a comeback, I don't think it's going to happen. I think Eveltal needs to call this one a loss, take the L, and come back stronger in the next one. Here's a drill peck from regular Dialga, and down goes Eveltal. 1-0 to the Dialga team. My goodness, what is going to happen in this next round? Eveltal needs to claw back a victory. It needs to do a swift victory. Don't allow the Dialga to attack. Paralyze them. Do whatever you can. Knock them out. One hit KOs. You know, um, horn drills. Fisher, guillotine, anything you can do as we see the Dark Aura taking effect and the pressure coming into play. What will Eveltal do to claw this one back against the Dialga team? Dialga is just so dominant right now. They need to do something. Sticky Web coming out from Shiny Eveltal. Brilliant. So there you go. The Sticky Web is there, but it's not going to affect the Dialga, either of the Dialga, in this particular battle. We see Ominous Wind from regular Eveltal. Going to deal a little bit of chip damage there to regular Dialga, but no stat boost coming with that Ominous Wind, unfortunately. Shiny Dialga is going to go for Sparkling Aria. It will be resisted by its partner, but it will damage both the Eveltal there. Decent amount of damage on both of them there. Brilliant play. Here comes uh, regular Dialga. Going to go for Acid Spray. Going to spray that Acid onto that uh, regular Eveltal there. And it's, of course, going to get the drop in Special Defense. A harsh drop in Special Defense at that, which is not good for that Eveltal. What's it going to do in response? Let's see what the Metronome brings. Blast Burn. That will be neutral onto that... Uh, is that the regular Dialga? No, it's the Shiny Dialga that took it. Taking that damage there like a champ. And here is Shiny of Eltol with Mega Horn. And that is going to be resisted. But it did do a decent amount of damage for a not very effective move. So now the Eveltol have got the right idea. They're putting the pressure onto these um, Dialga. Here's Chip Away though. That did a decent amount of little bit of chip damage, shall we say, with that Chip Away. And here's Shiny Dialga coming through with Water Spout. My goodness. And that did... Brilliant damage on both Eveltal there. That was a great move, bringing both Eveltal down to less than half HP. Great play on that water spout. Shiny Eveltal going to go for Mystical Fire. That, of course, is going to be a neutral move, doing a decent amount of damage to uh, the regular Dialga and also dropping its special attack. Here comes Shiny Dialga. What's it firing back with? Going to go for Heal Pulse. That's a big mistake. That's a mistake, and that's something that Eveltal needs to capitalize on. Huge amount of HP restored there. 50% of Eveltal's HP restored on that, uh, that heal pulse. That's not good. Here comes regular Dialga with Powder onto the Shiny. 
um, Eveltol, which means that if that Eveltol uses a fire type move, it's going to hurt itself, unfortunately. But it has used a couple of fire type moves from the Eveltol team in this. But there's Purify, and it fails. Wasted turn by uh, Shiny Eveltol there. How will its regular counterpart follow up? Goes for Poison Fang. That doesn't affect the Steel type Dialga at all. Of course, it has that Poison Immunity. So that's not a, not a good sign. Here we see Worry Seed coming out, though. So it's gonna it's not going to stop the Dark Aura, because, of course, Dark Aura is coming into play from both the Eveltol. Toll, so one of them still has an effect, but now that particular Veltol now has no uh, no chance of falling asleep, which might work in its favor in this battle. Here's a Mega Punch though from Dialga, Shiny Dialga onto regular Veltol. Didn't do a lot of damage though. For saying it's a Mega Punch, it didn't really do that much damage. Here's Shiny Veltol coming back with Signal Beam. It's going to be resisted once again, but maybe if it can get the confusion, it's chipping away at this Dialga. No confusion this time though. Shiny uh, regular Veltol. I should say, is going to come back with a Mud Slap. That is going to be super effective. Brilliant using a super effective move there and dropping the accuracy, but it just wasn't a strong enough super effective move to take that regular Dialga out. Here comes Shiny Dialga with Acrobatics. Of course, not holding any items. So that is going to be powered up, doing a decent amount of damage to that uh, Shiny Eveltol as the regular Dialga gets ready to follow up with Electrify, but of, of course it fails. Unfortunate for that particular Dialga. Here comes Eveltol's time. It's time for Eveltol to take advantage of this turn. Goes for Vine Whip Quad Resistant. Forget everything I was saying. He's Eveltol just can't be taught. They need to get on the offensive ASAP before their, their PP runs out. Magma Storm is a great choice, though. There you go. Don't speak too soon for the Isabeltol. Massive damage from that Magma Storm, and that is going to damage the, um, the Shiny Dialga at the end of the turn as well. What will it do to retaliate? It's going to go for Thunder Punch. That's super effective. Oh, my goodness. Huge damage on that Thunder Punch on Shiny Eveltol. My goodness. What is happening right now? Is this gonna is this gonna be oh the confuse ray is avoided by a Veltol? Well done, and there's that magma storm damage. Is this the point where Dialga uh, where Eveltol starts to take advantage and finally capitalizes on Dialga? Is that what's gonna happen? We see Zen Headbutt coming out from regular Eveltol onto Shiny Dialga, bringing it down to 5 HP. It's so close. These these Eveltol are so close to knocking out one of these Dialga. They just need to try. It goes for Rap, and it's avoided because of the evasiveness increased by regular Dialga. What's it going to do? How's it following up? Goes for Comet Punch. Will it get enough hits? There's one hit, two hit, only two hits. Not enough to knock out regular Eveltol there, just chipping away at its HP. Uh, here's an energy ball from Shiny Dialga onto regular Eveltol and does get the knockout, does get the KO. It's Shiny Eveltol against both Dialga once again. This is terrifying for the Eveltol team, but the, the Dialga are so close. Both of them are so close to being knocked out. We see Draco Meteor, but it misses once again. Another miss because of that evasiveness increase on that Minimize. That was crazy. Here's Peck from Dialga onto Eveltol, bringing it down into the red. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely terrifying. And here we see Heat Crash coming out. Is that going to be enough to get the knockout? It is the knockout, and Dialga absolutely decimates Eveltol there. Dialga is going to the final, uh, to the semi-finals, I should say. Here's your first quarter-final winner. Quarter-final winner. It's Dialga. I'm speechless. Well, this one was a no-brainer. I mean, anyone that thought Eveltol was going to win, yeah, it had good luck against Mewtwo in the first round, but Dialga was just absolutely astonishingly dominant. Dialga was gonna win from the get-go. I honestly am not surprised it didn't go to three rounds. Like, we've had a lot of comebacks in this series of Metromania, a lot of moments where Pokemon have either lost in the first round and then won the next two rounds in a row, or we've had Pokemon where they've lost the first round, clawed it back in the second round, and then boom, lost it in the third. But this time, Dialga gave Evil Tull no quarter. It was literally bam, bam, bam. There was a point in the second battle where I thought Evil Toll might be pulling off a victory, but it just fudged it up at the end and Dialga just took complete advantage. So, well done Dialga, you are our first semi-finalist. This is getting really, really exciting now. So, the semi-finals, 
Dialga is in semi-final one. I'm so interested to see who's going to be in semi-final two, but we'll find that out next week. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see you there. But of course, that'll wrap it up for this edition of Metro Mania. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to support the channel like these lovely people do down here, make sure you pledge to my Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Ace Trainer Liam. And until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.